everybody, Maddie here with Backwoods Mindset. So I'm in the kitchen. You guys saw on one of the last videos my trail camera, the Tasco, the batteries like exploded in the inside, got all sorts of corrosion. We're gonna fix that today, or at least try to. Let's see if we can get it working. Okay, so I'm over here at the kitchen table, and I'll show you. Here we got the tray, right there. You can see all the corrosion in there. Um, we're gonna try, I, I saw some comments on there on what people used. I'm going to actually submerge this in vinegar, and we're gonna see what that does. I do have something that we can kind of like brush it with. Um, I do have some rubbing alcohol as well, and got some other ideas, but I also have to clean up the camera. Now this was one of the cheap, like Tasco ones from Walmart. I think I, when I bought this, it was like $20. So um, over time, you know, it's gotten kind of foggy and kind of a little dirty and grungy from being outside. And like I said last year, a lot of this is my fault. Ugh. idiot. I just didn't check it. Um, it sat out there, um, don't have any pictures, nothing from it. So we are going to try to get this submerged into some vinegar and see if it helps clean it up. And uh, we'll, we'll time it, we'll talk about it, figure out what we need to do. Got some other ideas too if we need to, but we're gonna start off with the vinegar and see if that helps. So I always tend to save these like plastic containers. This was a broccoli and cheddar soup one. It's all jacked up. I save these for when I have little projects like this. And I'm trying to get some of these projects done and just out of the way, the little stuff, so I don't have to think about it, so I can start working on the bigger stuff that I need to get done. But like this is stuff that affects um, like the making of my videos. Um, you know, if I wanna show you guys pictures of the deer that are crossing the trail while I'm hunting, like this is all stuff that I need to get done. And this has even taken me, we're on day, uh, when did I go? I think I went on Monday maybe, or Sunday, was it Sunday? I might've gone, but anyways, what I'm gonna do is I have some from Giant Eagle here. I got distilled white vinegar, hopefully you can see that. And I'm going to put some of that in there and I'm going to set this in here and I'm gonna let it submerge and we'll see if we can, uh, we can get this fixed up. So let's get this sucker. This is brand new too, never been open. And I do, I think I have some baking soda too that we will also try, but we're gonna do this first and see, cause somebody said something about vinegar. I'm gonna fill it up enough so that when I submerge it, and we'll see if the vinegar helps loosen any of this. Man, it's still, whoo, does that smell? No, I hate the smell of vinegar. Anyways, we're gonna set this in here and uh, we're gonna let that, see, we're gonna let it sit for a little bit. I think I'm gonna go look. Um, I think I got some toothbrushes um, that are old, that are junk. I tend to save those too um, in there. Uh, we're gonna see, I can already see, there's like tons of rust breaking off of this, tons. Let me see if I can show you guys. Maybe not tons, but you see the, the particles in there. That could just be loose stuff. But um, yeah, these terminals are pretty, pretty jacked up there. You can see there's some bits and pieces down there in the bottom. We're, like I said, we're gonna let that sit in here for a little bit, um, try to eat some of that away, and then we're gonna hit it with a brush, and I got some Q-tips, and then we'll uh, finish it off. Um, got some rubbing alcohol, we'll use that on it, and uh, just to get it nice and clean, and then we're gonna also clean up the camera, which this is, I don't know what model number this is, but it's a Tasco uh, camera. It just does pictures, it doesn't do video or anything. But, um, and then once I get that fixed up, I can get this out to the hunting property, get it back in the spot, and hopefully I can get some pictures of some of these deers that are going by the property, be able to show you guys. And then I could see what I, what's out there, what I, what I could potentially be getting. But we're gonna let this sit for a minute. I'm gonna go find some toothbrushes. So in the closet, in the hallway, sometimes, we keep old 
beat up two toothbrushes in here and sometimes we got some new ones in here too um, I'll get them from the uh, dollar store or whatever you know I buy like the big packages of them and look at that we got one right here uh, you know what I'm gonna do before I use this because this is a brand new one I'm gonna ask Darcy if maybe she wants to swap out her toothbrush so somebody I don't know whose this is I'm guessing it's Aiden's um, it's an older toothbrush that's messed up so I gave him the brand new one and we're gonna use a jacked up toothbrush that's already got stuff on it we're gonna try to scrub this out a little bit and see if that rust comes off okay so a lot of rust has been coming off of it we're gonna try to hit it with the toothbrush now and see if we can get some more off of it You can see the water is changing colors here. I'm trying to get a good view on here so you guys can actually see me scrubbing it, but it doesn't look like all of it's coming off yet. So we're gonna have to really put some elbow grease in this. It looks like, um, let me try some, some baking soda, but this is really, there's a lot on this. There's a lot. All right, we're gonna let it sit because it wasn't sitting that long. We're gonna give it a little bit, really let it sit in there and see what happens. Okay, so the vinegar smell was just horrendous, all right? I'm gonna show you guys what happened. Take a look. So here's the thing, you can see how dirty that water got, but here is the actual piece. And if you look down there, it really, this kind of stinks, but I'm gonna show you here right here this plastic is gone or i mean this is just plastic the metal piece actually disintegrated this is actually the spring that broke off this is now completely unusable the metal's not in there anymore it was i don't know how long the batteries were in there and how long it was just rotting away um, and it just did a complete number on that. So this is just trash now. Um, I paid 20 bucks for it. I've had it for uh, five years, maybe. I got it at Walmart. I, they have uh, another one at Walmart that's kind of the same. Um, it's like 30 bucks now, but that's kind of shot. So I had to make a decision. Out with the old. In with the new. Got a new one. So, unfortunately, trying to fix it, it just didn't work. Um, but my best, my best friend, Byron. Well, I have multiple best friends, but my best, my best guy friend, Byron, was um, got me a birthday present. Um, that one was real jacked up. He got me this uh, Bone Collector by Bushnell. It's a vert, it's a thinner one. I think you can kind of see in the package. Um, and this one actually, it's nicer than the last one I had. Um, this one actually does, uh, it does pictures and it does video. Um, I'm really excited uh, to get this cracked open and get it, it take it out to the property and get it set up and see what kind of pictures, what kind of video we get from it. Um, I'll be showing you guys that as we go along too throughout the season, what deer come by. My buddy Dave did send me a picture of one of the deer, which I'm actually gonna put right up here so you can see it. Um, this is one of the, one of the really, this is just a beautiful buck just in general. Uh, but real excited so we can see what other what other deer we get on there. But um, yeah, pick this one up um, It's a lot thinner than the other one um, And unfortunately, I think the amount of time because I don't know when those batteries went bad in there I don't know when they started leaking or exploded or whatever happened um, But I think it just sat in there so long that it corroded everything um, 
that was pretty much it. Like I said, I paid, you know, I paid twenty dollars for it, and I had it for five, I think it was five years. It was either five or six years. But even if it was five, going on the short end, you know, you figure that's four bucks a year for that camera. I mean, I got I got some good good use out of it, um, and I did I got to see a lot of pictures, but. I'm hoping that maybe switching things up a little bit, going with some newer things. Um, I when I do this, which I will be doing like a unboxing. Um, I'm not going to do it in this video, um, but I'm going to do an unboxing, like a review of it, showing setting it up, and we're going to go out. We're going to fix um, the hunting blind. Uh, we're going to be doing that in a video here shortly. Um, got to, got a whole bunch of other stuff going on. Um, I was really hoping that when I was cleaning up the other uh, trail cam, that everything was gonna come clean, that it was gonna be really, it was just, it was gonna work. And uh, I got about halfway through and um, I started looking and like all the metal was gone on the bottom. And like I showed you that the one spring broke, um, just all sorts of problems with it. And that's, sometimes things just don't go right. And I was like, I mean, the video, I was literally in, I don't know, like, what is that, like two, two and a half minutes in? <laughs> and it, didn't, it just went bad. So um, I tried. Um, this is, Sometimes it doesn't work, but I wanted to give it a shot. I know somebody in the comments, can't remember exactly who it was, but thank you for at least bringing up the thing about the vinegar. I, I'm sure it works. It was just that camera was just way far gone um, even before. Um, I did remember to take the SD card out of it, so that's good because I'm gonna have to use the SD card in the new guy here. But I'm really excited to, really excited to use this. Um, excited to see. I'm gonna be checking up on this one more often. Like I said, the last one was that was all on me. There's I, I should have checked it sooner. That was sitting out there almost a whole year uh, without me checking it. So that makes sense on why everything went the way it went, but, um, you know, during the season, I'm actually, I'm not going to leave this out, um, after, after deer, um, deer season's done. Um, I haven't gotten out this year either. Um, we'll be getting out there soon, just trying to get that blind fix first, uh, before I go out uh, and get this camera set up too. That way it makes some sense for when I go out to do some hunting and I can pull the camera, pull the photo, show you guys, uh, what we're seeing out there and hopefully we get one this year it'd be nice to put some meat in the freezer and make some chili and who knows what else i'll do with it if i'm lucky enough and blessed enough to get one this year but i do uh i do want to thank everybody for watching um sorry this one wasn't as exciting sometimes stuff happens like that that's life but um also thank you to byron 12 sons ranch uh for the birthday present that was awesome really appreciate it this is really cool um, and, uh, we'll see you on the next one. Love you guys. Slime on. See you later.